Here they come, look. Did you miss us? <laughs> Mrs. Bonneville, where are we? We're in Broadway in Cotswolds. Mrs. Bonneville, what we stood next to? A new car. Yeah, we got a new car. The duster has gone. We've now got a mini roadster. Can I just say, I knew nothing about this. It was a complete surprise to right. me. Right, we're in Broadway in the Cotswolds. We're going to take you for a lovely walk that you've not seen before. But first, we're going to the shop. To get something nice to eat on the way. Bye-bye. have some provisions. We've got some apple juice, some sweets, some pork pies, and Mrs. Bonneville's got an apple and an orange in her bag. Seriously, right, on a serious note, where are we going today? Where are we um, going to show the viewers today? Uh, Laverton. Laverton? Stanton. Stanton. We're going to go to Stanton and Laverton and a few little places on the way. Mrs. Bonneville's in a really funny mood today. Come on, Mrs. B. Is that the bread I was looking for the other day to do some toast and marmalade? Yeah, it's a crust as well. My favourite crust. Unbelievable. Oh Quick one because we've had a question. Uh, on one of our vlogs when we were last in Broadway, someone put on the comments, is there any other hotel in Broadway other than the Ligon? The Ligon Arms is one of the best hotels in the Cotswolds. But there's also this one behind me called the Broadway Hotel. There it is. Um, me and Mrs B used to uh, basically spend a lot of our time there having food and drink. Well, Lovely menu. Yeah, it's food. really nice. Well, it's, I know it sounds a bit basic, but they did wild mushrooms on toast. Oh, starter, lovely. Anyway, lovely. get out of shop, Mrs and B. So yeah, the Broadway Hotel is um, definitely, definitely worth uh, trying. It's really nice inside as well. So at the Broadway Hotel, there's also just around the corner here, which we'll walk past in a minute, because again, we were asked, um, a smaller, it's more of a B&B &B, uh, above a pub, and it's beautiful, it's called the Crown and Trumpet. Now, folks, as just mentioned, this is the Crown and Trumpet, a fabulous pub, and this was our local pub. On a Saturday night, we'd come here and uh, have a plate of food and uh, a few beers and listen to the band. Mrs B. They did really nice. Sausage and onion gravy with mash, which was very nice. Here we are. So we've just literally walked about a mile out of Broadway and we are now starting our little walk to... Where do we come to first, Mrs B? Is it Laverton or is it Stanton? No, I think we come down into Stanton and then walk back through Laverton. Right. Well, anyway, we're going through this field here, folks, to start our lovely walk. Can I just say that while we're in here, the last time we came here was many years ago, and um, and as we're walking through, we turned around and all this flock of sheep were following us. <laughs> that and is I mean, true. There must have been about 60 sheep and they were all behind <laughs> us following us. I haven't got the footage anymore because I've lost the phone that I had it on. Oh, it's a kissing gate. It's a kissing gate, Mrs. Big. Go on, and he fell down then. Really good shot if you'd have fallen down. Right, come on. Social media. It's a really good signal. 
Yes, I should have also said that this walk today is around about eight miles, so fairly long, but um, for me and Mrs B, yeah, it's about our upper limit now, eight to 10 miles. We don't mind doing that, do we, love? No, no, now I've had me off and everything and I'm a bit lighter. <laughs> although, although, once they've eaten these pork pies that are in my bag, who knows? We just gin ourselves up because um, we've got to go up this hill. Again, the camera won't pick the gradient up, but um, we've got to go right up to pretty much where that tree is there. Can you see that? There you go, look. There is a little stile halfway up the hill, which we'll stop at. This hill isn't quite as steep as it looks, and that I can get my leg over. <laughs> there you go, you see? It's not bad at all. That's how all styles should be. That's a nice sort of step up. And step down. Listen to us. But halfway up, you are greeted by that wonderful view. And <laughs> we haven't even reached that style yet. <laughs> the halfway point. Oh, it's a steep one. We haven't had a, a long, big walk for about what, four or five weeks. No. We've, we've walked in the last week or two, but not a big walk. Oh, no. So this will be good to get things moving. Come on then. Come on, Mrs. B. Get up there. That's where we're going to collapse and have an apple juice. Isn't it, Mrs. B? Yeah. She's off, look. Ah. Other brands are available. My name is Style. Love Life Triumph. <laughs> look at the view. That. There's Broadway Tower just in the distance there. It'll come out, it'll come into focus. Oh. Look at that. 360, which is starting to rain. Oh, 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 oh. There's this blue sky there, look. Yeah, walking. We're heading off up here through this farm and then up that hill. That's where we're heading. Once we've had a drink of apple juice. These are, these are what I call gentlemanly steps because it's thinking about the lady getting over them rather than just like a big ship, big, big step. Look at that, so easy. Ta-da! <laughs> and down. Uh, oh, look behind Mrs B, a bit of blue sky. Yay! It's only mid-June. Right. Now then, this isn't just to generate comments, folks. It really isn't. But can anyone let us know what this is? It's lovely, isn't it? It's really pretty. Does it smell, Mrs. B? No. It's attracting the uh, the bees, though. But it is beautiful. Yeah, it's really good. It's good when they do this to the fields, isn't it? Onwards what? through the whatever it is. We don't know what it is. Field. Oh, by gum. I don't know if that's going to pick it up, folks, but we're on the Cotswolds way. We should have said that. And Mrs. B has found. Is it comfy? No. Oh. Are we carrying on till we get a bench? Yeah, we've got up there to go, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything so far has been uphill. Well, we'll it's show been like you. back in Sheffield. When we get to the very top, because what, what makes a good walk is to go up at the start and then down at the bottom. And that's exactly what this is. It's just been all up, 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 oh. and up there. And when we get to the top, we'll show you the 360 view. It'll be beautiful. Right then, is this the last uphill bit? Uh, yeah. I've got that on camera for proof. Right, come on. Oh, it doesn't look it, folks, but that's where we've come from. Down there, down, 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 down. But obviously up, up, up. And we've got to the top, and look. Let me zoom in for you again, folks. Mrs. Bonnell has just said to me, that's her form of glamping. We yeah. think that's possibly maybe a wedding. Yeah, but that's the sort of clamping I do now. Glamping, not clamping. Glamping. Well, let's go and have a look at the glamping. And we need a bench to sit down, don't we? We're having a nice time, honestly. <laughs> oh. It looks right cool, doesn't it? It does look very nice. Yeah, 
I mean, sorry about the flashing lights, but the, they're actually putting lights and balloons up over there. Anyway, I'll get a closer look and show you in a minute. There you go, folks. That's as close as I can get you. It looks very well organised. You won't be able to see, but in the distance there, behind the two, three big wigwams, there's a looks like a gin bar being set up. One of those mobile vintage gin bars. And these are the views they've got. That's not bad, is it? Eh? If it is a wedding, that's not bad venue. She's not listening, look. She goes into her own little vortex world. Vortex world, is that a thing? Doing a social media look. There you go. <laughs> Setting up a bar, look. It looks like a gin bar in that oh. blue Ooh. vintage. It's one of them French vehicles. What, um, what gin have we started to, to buy from? Badacro. Or Bad ba Badacro. Badacro from yeah. Scotland, isn't it? Beautiful. We send off for it. and um... We've already nearly finished that bottle of orange <gasps> gin. We've got about that much left. On a Friday and a Saturday, we tend to have one, sometimes two, don't we? Um, most nights. It's not most nights, don't no, be so not. ridiculous. We, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then, let's crack on. We've still not found anywhere to sit, but that is not a bad little venue, is it? Right, folks, what about them generators? What about them on towpath? <laughs> there we are, folks, we thought it was a wedding. Date, and we hope you have a lovely, lovely day. There it is, look. Let me zoom in. There they are, look. There's the wigwams. Now, off camera, and out of Mrs. Bonner was here shot. Nick, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You're the, you're the happiest you've ever been, young man. We've got to this gate, right? And I'm saying to Mr. B, oh no, how are we going to undo this to get this off? It, can you see? You just pull this over here. I think I'm having a blonde moment, even though I'm not naturally blonde. You know, Mrs. Bonneville said she was going to show you 360 view. Let me show you. Let me show you a view. Complete with lovely little white horses. Now then, folks. The only animal, the only animal I don't like, and I'm genuinely frightened of, is here. This is one of them. He's coming. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. He's here, look. Hello there. Smell on friend, not foe. There they are, look. Doing some green laning. Bikes and boats. We will not be doing that on ours. Good morning on this quite overcast morning. Um, Mr B has decided to do a little painting. I know it's unusual for Mr B to be doing anything, isn't it, on the boat? Um, but rather than painting on the inside, he's painting on the out. So let me just show you what he's done so far. It's painted the bottom of the boat, so it's painted up to uh, up to the waterline. So we've moved the boat from one side to another. So we have actually moved the boat, <laughs> if you like. So we just moved it to be uh, to, at the other side. So I'll just go down and show you. And he is actually doing the other side as we speak. It's two packs mixed with a secret ingredient that my boat builder, the hull builder, advised me on. Goodbye. Mm, can I just come past you so I can just show them what you've done up here? Whilst we may have not taken our boat out yet, 
you have to keep on top of it. But it's all home. Goodbye. There we go, folks. More green laners. Thank you. There they come, look. It's uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea, that, but um, fair dues to them. It does take some skill. I've never done it. Never done it. Um, I know it'd end in tears, though. And we are approaching civilization. In fact, we're approaching a pub. What's the pub called, my love? The Mount Inn. There it is, folks. This is the Mount Inn in Stanton. And as I say, if you are ever, seriously, can't stress this enough, it's a beautiful, quaint pub stroke restaurant. Um, it's got a little beer garden. Here we are, look. Mount Inn. There we are, look. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's where they the wedding breakfast. Yes, obviously set up for a wedding or something. As I say, you can't really see much, um, but it really, truly is a wonderful place. It's literally walking into Stanton. There's not much in Stanton except, as I say, the mountain and some wonderful, wonderful Cotswolds cottages. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's the only part of the United Kingdom. That's the uh, high street. And now we're going to go and sit on this. Oh, there's a bench. We're sitting on the bench. Let's just show you where we're sitting. Bless. Right. We are now going to go through Stanton and in to Lab Stanton. Beautiful. Tiny, tiny little village. Wonderful properties. Quintessential Cotswolds. Um, with some utterly magnificent, magnificent houses. And of course, it wouldn't be the Cotswolds without the obligatory horse and the high street. Coming out. So yeah, from here, we are gonna walk into Laverton. churches maybe overuse of the word picturesque but I'm sure you'll agree in a minute look at this look at that how perfect is that Stanton village church you can get your better shot of the church there he is look wonderful and the sun has made an appearance. Ah, now then, YouTubers, this is where Mrs. Bonneville went riding. Can't remember the name of the place, but she highly recommended it. We were big horse though. The back was up here. I the stirrup was here. I had to sort of get on a walk and get on her because she was that big. She was oh. fabulous. Really, really had a good gallop. It was nice. Well, anyway, there it is. Right. We're in a field of corn going to Laverton. Right, here we go, folks just entered the village of Laverton, which is not too dissimilar to Stanton. Just coming into, apologies about the wind noise folks, we're just coming into the centre now, nice properties. Isn't this the most perfect? Dog? Yeah, but look at that, isn't that stunning? That's cottage garden, personified, wonderful. Oh, and look in front, look at this rose in front. There you go. That is the perfect lollipop holly. This is the blue 
isn't it? Absolutely wonderful, that. Now, as I say, don't be expecting a lot to do in Laverton, or as you've just seen in Stanton. There's just an abundance of beautiful Cotswold properties, and um, there's a pub, and there's a bench, <laughs> which is what we love. And of course, there's a Mrs. Bonneville look. <laughs> Bless her. I can't help it, so many lovely views. Yeah. I just keep taking pictures. Right, round the corner we go. And this is going back probably about five years that we ever saw a phone box that was converted into like a little mini library and we're going past it so this is the first time we'd ever seen that haven't we now there's a lot of them correct like the sad phone box this is Bonneville referring to there you go look for our viewers further afield which we know we've got a few this is a old English telephone box Let's open the door my love that's being converted into like a little a Laverton and Buckland book exchange yeah. fabulous or oh, miss right. me garden oh my dear when we get our wide beam Visualise what's gonna it's gonna be like. Oh yes. And no, we've not taken a boat out, as we've said earlier, and no, we're not ever gonna take the boat out. And we end this walk, folks, <laughs> in a bit of a quagmire. <laughs> but thankfully we've got our Wellingtons on, and as you can see. <laughs> we had a lot of rain last night, didn't we? We had not. Oh and here we are folks, back at the car. Roof is down. This is Bonneville, say goodbye. We will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And we will see you really soon. We're off. <gasps> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> yes. Yum, well yum, remembered. Yum. In my tongue. Not internet. I think we've got um, 5G. 5G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, oh, and, uh, Goodbye. I thought we were filming that way then. You'll have to just tell me which way we're filming because I don't. You just like getting in the shot, don't you, all the time? That's me stepping back. Yeah, because that horse knows. A spooky one. To be clear, I do the goodbyes. All right, goodbye. <laughs>